beneath the hustle and bustle of the morning work commute. Bob Drummer Hauser heads below the water's surface. It keeps me sane, that music. During the winter, anyway. The long, lonely season is devoted to meticulous restoration of the World War II sub, the USS Croker. I have done, oh, I, don't, I, I don't know where to begin. I have painted virtually the entire boat from one end to the other on the inside. I have repaired damaged or missing sheet metal. Uh, I have done true items of restoration. Bob works in solitude with just a radio and a portable heater to keep him company through the cold buffalo winters. For me, when I'm on the sub in the winter and the wind has it and it's rocking and I hear the sleep bouncing off the outside and I have my music playing and I'm in, into a project I can really sink my teeth into, all is right with the world. I mean, it, to me, it's just, it's magic. The only thing that Bob loves more than working on the croaker is talking about the croaker. As soon as the ice melts, Bob is bringing history to life for school kids. Oh, I'd love to answer questions. Are you kidding me? That makes my day. There's only one question that he can't answer. You have me on that one because everything to me is special on the croaker. I, I, I cannot single out one item. The whole boat to me is special. After all, it's his small discoveries that make the sub complete. This was located uh, on eBay. My wife bid for it and she got it. How much did you pay for it? You're not going to believe this, $3.50. To me, it's a treasure. Even if his wife doesn't always appreciate Bob's attention to detail. My wife says to me, you and that expletive deleted submarine, when are you going to give it a rest? Now men like Larry Fuchs, who served on a similar sub, say the USS Croker is Bob's legacy. He is committed to what he's doing. And he and keeps bothering us people to make sure that we give him all the stuff he needs. And it's working out fine. Bob's passion doesn't come from life on a submarine like this. In fact, just three years ago, he was a man who needed a job when times got rough. I've talked to all the sub vets that I could. I've read everything I've could. Uh, and working on the sub has just become a passion of mine. Now he's the lone captain of a ship that's taken him on an adventure without ever leaving the waters of Lake Erie. This is the defining moment of my life, this submarine. After I'm gone, I will have made a difference. This submarine, I've tried to create a tribute here to the submarine service. Especially the men who gave their lives on submarines. Uh, that's what I've tried to do with the croaker here, to make any submariner proud. In Buffalo, Laura Gray, 7 News.